What's up everyone, Shaquille Mahjoudi here for CBS Sports and you know who this is. He is the UFC's number 10 ranked bantamweight contender fighting Corey Sandhagen in the main event of UFC Fight Night this Saturday. Umar Nurmagomedov, how are you? Hi, hi, hi everyone. Um, alaikum. I'm good. Alhamdulillah. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Now, how surprised were you by Corey's willingness to take this fight, what's supposed to be a title eliminator, considering the gap between the two of you in the bantamweight rankings? I'm not so surprised because this is a UFC said him, if you want to fight for the title, beat this guy. And what he has to do? He has to beat me. How difficult of a challenge do you think that Corey will be for you on fight night? Because on paper, he is the you know most accomplished fighter that you have faced. He's a tough guy. He's a tough fighter. And he's a technical uh, uh, striker. And uh, I think it's going to be not easy fight, I think. But and not too hard. We'll see. I spoke with Corey earlier today, and, and he described you as the most well-rounded fighter in the division. And, and he said that he was very excited to fight you because he thinks it'll help prepare him for either Marab or Sean. What do you make of Corey's assessment that you are one of the most well-rounded bantamweights in the top 15? I think he, one of them, one of them, one of the top guys, I think. Uh... And for talking about I'm one number one, I have to become champion. Said to everyone who wanna who wanna fight or who wanna become best, come welcome. You know. I read that uh, your favorite fight is John Jones versus Alexander Gustaf Gustafsson. One is that true? Mm hmm. Yeah, tell me about why you love that fight so much, because I really love that fight. Too. It's a very technical fight, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot, a lot things, a lot, uh, a lot. Uh, stylistically, it's a very beautiful fight, and uh, not the revenge first fight. I like first fight, whereas Gustafsson, Gustav, Gustafsson was very close to beat him. How willing are you to uh, be the replacement fighter for Sean O'Malley versus Marab at UFC 306? Uh, you know, make weight. Don't know if you're going to fight if the UFC asks. I think I'm going to talk about, I will talk with UFC after my fight. And right now, it's, it's not matter. I, I'm sure you've been asked this all day, but could I get a prediction for Sean O'Malley versus Marab? I don't have, I don't know why, but it's difficult i don't know who gonna win it's you know if if mirab will uh, pressing him punch him take him down and do this all of a round he can beat him and if omele will wait him and meet him with punch knees he can beat him you know mm -hmm. They have did like you train? Some... Oh, sorry. sorry. No, it's okay. Um, did you train at all with Bilal Muhammad before his fight against Leon Edwards? Yes, right. Yeah. How impressed were you with his performance? He came in as the underdog, and now he's the world champ. Uh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Uh, I'm waiting. He will. He will praise him. He will. Facing him, he will go ahead, he will find mm -hmm. takedowns, pressure, you know, and the, but I didn't wait, he will do this like perfect, like that. He he beat him very good. Every like you know, no one can say Mirab is a bad boxer, Mirab, Mirab has bad uh, striking, you know, he showed very good class. Not Mirab, Bilal, 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 Bilal. yes, sir. Uh, just a couple as we wrap up here. Um, Habib, obviously, amazing fighter, one of the best. But people have wonderful things to say about him as a coach and as trainer. But I hear he's very intense. How would you describe Habib's uh, coaching style and uh, and then the pressure he puts on his fighters to be the best? You know, he was inside inside this game, and he know everything. 
inside and that, that's why he giving to us very good advices and he give us very good advices and he you know like in the game he I think he, he one of the best he know this game he, he understood he understood how you can like become great champion Last thing, you know, when we think of great families in MMA, for a long time it was the Gracie family. I feel like the Nurmagomedov family is very much in that conversation now. Obviously, Habib as lightweight champion, uh, yourself as a top contender, Usman as the Bellator champion. What does it mean for you? And then obviously everyone involved in the camp, Islam, etc., how much does it mean for you to be part of a family that might go down as the greatest family in MMA history? Possibly, you know, in no small part due to your contributions as well. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a goal. It's a goal to become champion, to, you know, to, to become like, how is it, like, I, I I think it's gonna be very good legacy in this uh, history, like MMA history. And if I will become champion, Osman will become champion, and we already team. We have a lot of champions, and you know it's it's beautiful, and it's deserve it's deserve uh, to be like. Close to with the, like with the families, like with Gracie families or with different like some someone else family in this industry. Umar, I want to thank you for your time. I want to let you have the last word. So very quickly for me, thank you everyone for watching the video. Please subscribe, tap the bell, thumbs up. Let us know what is your prediction for Corey Sandhagen versus Umar Nurmagomedov that headlines UFC Fight Night this Saturday. Umar, if there's anything you would like to tell your fans, the floor is yours, my friend. Uh, prediction is going to be, inshallah, win. Victory for me, inshallah. And for your follow fans and uh, who, who who follow me, like who who, who I still at ballet, Siroga. Sup support. Ah, support. I uh, Root, rooting, rooting for me. I need support now. Who support me? Thank you so much. Thank you.